Hello everybody, this is Alan Paul once again doing another broadcast. I wanted to go ahead and get a uh, quick run-in this evening. I have some free time, so I thought I'd get uh, just a regular ordinary run-in. I'm actually uh, going to go on to my normal ordinary save here. and I love this startup screen. It doesn't get any better than that. So, just my regular save here that I'm jumping on to. I wanted to try to create a sky base. Um, learned this from a well-known YouTube streamer, Twitch streamer as well, uh, Beeblebum. Uh, does a lot of glitch building and um, showed us an interesting way to produce a sky base. It, it's very interesting. It's very hard to describe how to do it. I think he does a great job in describing how to do it, um, but I'm trying to give it a shot myself uh, on this particular save. I have it on one of my other saves, but that save is so... Uh, uh, gunked up right now from the 4.0 update that I'm having a little trouble trying to get it cleaned up. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Um, so one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off the music for the game itself. There we go. And we're going to do this in... There we go. Get a little background music going. It's a little different from the game itself. So hopefully we can enjoy that a little better. All right. So let's see network. I got it enabled right now. I'm gonna go ahead and disable it for the time being because I got some things I want to do. Uh, let me check something here. I don't think I have anybody on right now. Okay. Cool beans. So in case you haven't caught this ship on. Uh, yet. This uh, is named the Death's Head. It's one of the ships in Grand Admiral Thrawn's fleet from Star Wars, of course, from the legendary and now from Rebels and all the rest. Uh, looks like they're going to make Thrawn a major part of that uh, scene. Really looking forward to what they'll be able to do as far as live action is concerned. Really looking forward. That's one heck of a character they can develop. Uh, and I look forward to that. I'm going to mute on occasion and grab some water. Um, a little bit off kilter tonight. So anyway, this is my freighter here. Um, if you wanted to take a look at it, I'll give you a little run through of what it looks like. Um, this is it right here from the outside. Uh, I hate the fact that they can't let you view it from uh, all different angles, but um, but we'll go outside the ship here in just a second. Let's take a peek inside. I've got things arranged in such a way. I have a little save beacon here if I need it. I've got a little planetary probe over here um, and from there on it's all, if you look down there, zero, one, two, etc. You got all the uh, cargo containers going around the outside. I got my large refiner here. I've got everything really arranged. I put a pair of um, <clears throat> uh, first aid kits right around the main door along with the sign so I can always find my way back. Um, and then from here, I've got, of course, these are the fleet command stations, and I've got uh, one, two, three, I think four of them? I don't think I did a fifth, I don't remember. Nope. Four of them, along with appearance modifier, um, and then, of course, you have your base people. Uh, weapons and uh, and your Corvax, etc., etc. I put my teleporter very close by, as well as a... Um, trading terminal in case I ever need it. There's a lot of other things in here that I've added in, including a little door to the outside if you ever wanted to take a look around. I think this is one of the best parts of it. <clears throat> added one of the uh, glitching separators out here. So this is probably the coolest thing you can do is to literally stand outside. Oh, look at that. I still have the anomaly out here. Is to stand outside and look at your flotilla of uh, freighters that are floating around. Uh, or frigates, I think that's uh, you're on a freighter. That's a frigate. Eh, I'll get it right one of these days. I love that. Just absolutely. It, there's just something to be said about what they did to make this game so immersive. It really is cool. So along with that, there's no uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn ship that is complete without having, of course, just like Grand Admiral Thrawn, a museum. With all the things I've collected over the time period that I've been in playing this game, all set up in one gallery. So, had to do that. Love the arrangement here. I love looking around at everything that's in this place. There's a lot more to add in later on. And, of course, you have to have your own office. Haven't quite figured out exactly what else I want to do in here, but it's a starting point. Gives you a little bit of a rundown of your own area that you can 
hang out in. I just think the chair is too small. I don't know. It's just me. Anyway, out we go. So let's jump in a ship. We're going to run out of here. Before I do, one thing I want to point out, um, the No Man's Sky coordinate exchange, a lot of the gamers who play No Man's Sky bring that up on a regular basis, that you can look for ships and you can look for multi-tools. One of them advertised this particular multi-tool here that you can see. Um, I renamed it the OSOC, otherwise called the One Shot, One Kill. Why is that? This particular weapon, S-Class as you found it, has this arrangement of technology supercharged uh, the four technology supercharged locations right next to each other. So you can put your, in this case my pulse spitter, is doing over 30,000 damage. Not sure what happened there, that was kind of strange. So to give you a rough idea, I like the pulse spitter. I like the way the, the way it reacts and the way it produces uh, the impact. It is fantastic. I love playing with this particular, and I won't change it uh, for most anything. So I'm going to move this stuff down real quick just to give you a rough idea of what kind of damage output you can get from this bad boy. So over here you see I have my uh, scatter blaster. Okay, so you see damage potential at 11.5 on a normal basis. So let's put it up here. It already went up to 17. I haven't even added anything to it. 18, 21, 31, 42,000 damage with this son of a gun. With this scatter blaster, if I walk up to a sentinel, it literally is one shot, one kill. Just walk up right to the sentinel, just take one shot at it, bam, it's done. Over. Gone. The problem with the scatter blaster is it's like a it's like buckshot it's like a shotgun with buckshot you do the most damage close up but from far away you're not doing a whole heck of a lot of damage so you really have to track really close to your enemy in order to make the damage worth it which is why I go back to the pulse spitter and you'll see that all my upgrades to this guy with exception of one or two of them are um, the A class and the S class here are I don't have to put that there um, are add-ons those are actual blueprints that you get Whereas these three that are added in are actual specialized uh, upgrades. And you see I went for the, to try to find the top notch ones. Uh, plus 4 damage, 4%, uh, plus 4% damage, and the plus 18% fire rate. The fire rate seems to do a lot more damage. <clears throat> Pardon me, it adds to the damage of the weapon more so than the plus 4 damage percentage at the bottom right. I don't know why that is. Um, so all of these should be in that general area. See, this is uh, plus 3% and plus 19. And then this one is plus 3% again, and this time plus 20. So that's why it has so much more damage potential. And again, I get 30,000 damage out of this thing. You want to talk OP, man. Oh my gosh. It's incredible. So I haven't added a whole lot to this. I mean, I could go uh, beyond. I could add my force field in. I could add a cloaking device if I wish. Um, not into it, to be honest. I mean, I could still do the um, uh, the bolt caster and add its and odds as well. I know that Jason likes the bolt caster a lot more, but I'm just I'm all for the pulse spitter. I love how it can uh, how the damage it produces. It's just it's a really awesome. Sh uh, device. Um, this is one of my main ships, the Shinote, uh, otherwise known as the Hand of Death. Um, puts out some pretty decent damage on this. I mean, I usually go, I go with the Infra Knife Accelerator now. I used to go with the Positron Ejector, but this one does so much more damage. I'm hitting 62,000 damage on this. Well, 41,000 against Shielded. And that's, that's freaking crazy. I do have one fighter that's doing up in the 80s, uh, as far as damage is concerned. 80,000. So, again, very OP, if you know what to do. These are my flotilla of ships, uh, several of them, of course. Um, this one I've just recently upgraded and got going. Uh, I renamed it the Death Ball. Eh, you know, it's just too fun. Um, I, of course, I have to have my living ship. I have to have one. I never changed its name. This is one of my other favorites. I really, really like the... Uh, uh, these uh, solar ships a lot. This is called the Blue Divide. Uh, it's a blue ship that has all gold trim. It just was really, really sweet looking. I had to, I had to grab it. Um, 
its damage potential is nowhere near I don't think it's as close to the other one as that that one was yeah 55,000 damage but still a great ship to have um, they both both my solar ships have uh, the curved sails so they're half moons on each side they're really really sweet looking um, gotta have my one hauler that I found I never renamed it but it's got plenty of room inside this thing. Um, I have never gone through and gone through the upgrades all over again to reestablish everything in here, so it's still kind of messed up. Um, I stored a lot of, if you will, garbage in here for the time being. Um, doesn't do a whole lot of damage yet, but I haven't decided whether I'm going to be keeping it or not. Um, this is my Freudian ship. Yeah, I like a play on words. The Freudian ship is a neat ship. Um, doesn't do the most damage in the world I think we're at yeah see 68 and 45 still pretty a lot better than my solar ship but it's it's been a, it, this is a really cool ship to fly I love going around and around on this one and there's of course my other ship here now it doesn't show you any of the other ships you have I do have two more two more one more let's find out um, we got my golden vector of course um, which as you can see is one of the expedition rewards from the very first expedition I have gone through and changed this one up a little bit yeah I did I did fix it um, it's doing how much damage yeah see 88,000 damage output 58,000 against shielded <laughs> that's just it's wrong I don't know what to say you want to talk about OP this is so wrong I don't know what to say I mean, the hyperdrive range is at 1,000 right now, maneuverability at 516. If I do some work on these, I am pretty sure... Oh, wait a minute, I see what's happened here. I'm over over max. I don't know what happened here. This is really strange. I must have added one in by accident. Uh, keep that one. Probably get rid of that one. Hold on, let me just take a look here. This is bothering me. 20%. So 20%, 12% boost. We'll probably get rid of that one. Uh, let's see what else. Pulse drift power. That one's not flashing, so that's a blueprint. Uh, hold on a second. We'll get rid of one more. So 20... I'm not worried about efficiency. 15 boost, 9 maneuverability. 11 boost, 8 maneuverability. 25 boost, 14 maneuverability. 25, 7. And 28. 15, 9, 11. This one's get rid of this one. I'll keep you. Okay, so 15, 9. 25, 7. 25, 14. And 28, 28, 15, 9. Bye. Okay, there we go. Where's the other? Okay, that should get my maneuverability up to see 752. Where's the rest of my? That's odd. Am I missing my pulse drive? Oh, yeah, there it is, all the way over here. Crying out loud. All right, any of these upgrades? No. There's the technology upgrade and technology upgrade. Okay, good. I probably have another one in here someplace. There's the other one right there. That's three. I thought I had another fourth one here. Oh, okay, I got three on this one. That's why I got three all around each other. That's why this thing's so high on the upgrades. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. I feel like I should have one more to this. Let me see. What was I at? 752 um, maneuverability. Let's see what happens. Hold on. 717. 751. 752. 787. There's, there's something weird if you can put that in that T-shaped. It somehow works better. If you group them all together, a lot of times it makes uh, for... Uh, more powerful upgrades 
they all kind of link together but for some reason with the pulse drive I don't know what it is with the pulse engines if you line them all up like this and then stick this one down on the T-shape it actually adds a boost to it so we get more maneuverability hyperdrive range is pretty good um, 324 is what I get out of that one I could probably find some more upgrades especially in the X class because with the X class you can find some that are in the much higher range you can get it up to the 300 range let me see what that one is 260 okay that's why I have that there okay so good maneuverability anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this one I have one more ship but that is something I didn't know I had that there it is ruthless mistress I decided to leave the name I like that one um, this one's also up there. I haven't gotten all the upgrades in here yet, but she's putting out 82,000 damage. So not quite as not as much as the other one, but you notice my hyperdrive range is at 156. I haven't even upgraded the hyperdrive. I've gotten all that stuff done yet. Still a lot more to do on that ship. So what am I going to go with? Let's go with the Shinote. Um, I like this ship for the most part, most of all. I can't get in because it's too close. There we go. All right. And you'll see what I mean by the sales by the sales on this model. And we'll take a look at the ship from the outside. See what I mean? Ah, it's just too too pretty. Very very pretty. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm in a different system than I'm usually at. Yeah, I am. Yeah, because the. Okay, that's a space station, that's not the anomaly. So I'm not in the system I thought I was in. So I gotta get back to my home system here. Um, let's go ahead and do the picture mode real quick and I'll take a look, show you this real quick. Oh, hello, uh, F. And now you'll be able to, if I can get down here, there you go. So this is what my freighter looks like. That's one of the largest ones you can get. So, in relation to my little ship over here. This is not a bad little system I'm at. I'm probably about a million light years away from my uh, main base at the moment. So, let's go ahead and land real quick. I'm going to jump through a portal real fast. And we'll go back to my home base. Yeah. Nice try, my friend. I love how these things land. They're just so cool. Come on, man. How can you not want to have one of those solar ships? Plus, their pulse drives are so efficient. So when you're pulsing around a system, it's really, really nice to be able to not have to use a whole lot of energy to get by. All right. Let's go jump to the Whitney Outpost over in the Eisentum Galaxy. Most everything takes place in the Euclid Galaxy. That's where a lot of people hang out and play. Um, you'll see I have certain bases there. Um, and things I, I've described certain areas I can go the, my alpha base is always like the very first base I ever had so and then I do have a main base in Euclid right now but let me go to my bases I have a core systems base what is that the core system that this is at is one of the original systems when the game was first made back in 2016 um, I ended up finding coordinates to it I ran there created a base really really interesting there um, I do have a mechanical planet I get access to, but I'm going to head off to the Whitney Outpost, and I'm going to build my sky base there. I don't think the music is too, too loud. It looks like it's uh, getting about halfway up the scale here, so hopefully you can still hear me. All right, come on. I'd just take the freighter there, but that's a long trip, a lot of hops, so if I could just go to the base itself, I can call in my freighter. Come on. Hey, here we go. Yeah, sometimes you glitch out and appear underneath your base. The problem with the sky base, too. Now, you might remember this base from another episode. I never actually ever finished it. It's kind of wide open. But we need to call in, and I love this planet. This is the reason why. It's a paradise planet. Absolutely gorgeous. Everything glows here. The grass glows. The trees glow. The mushrooms glow. Everything about this place is awesome. No sentinels. Gotta love Eisentum. Let's call in the freighter, shall we? Right about there ought to do. Ugh, I 
that's just too cool to watch. <laughs> and then all the other ships start popping into existence. All right. So Eisen Tim's here. All right. Let's go ahead and create the sky base. Now, one of the main features to doing a sky base, uh, first of all, you need to have you need to be able to build a platform. So the first thing I'm going to do is give myself the ingredients to build a platform. Um, you know what? I actually don't remember. I think I'm getting it wrong. Uh, let's see. Ion batteries, 10 metal plates, and two microprocessors. Okay. 10 metal plates. So I needed those anyway to get my microprocessors. Stop that. And then 10 metal plates. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to be creating... We have a base computer here. So I need to create it a little ways away. I need to go somewhere away from this particular spot, but try to be as close to sea level as possible. So I'm going to go back the other way. And get out of range of the one I'm at. Now that save beacon there, in case you're wondering why I have a save beacon. Oh, cool. Close encounters. Why is there a save beacon right over here? Hmm? Why indeed? Maybe because there is a portal. Always build your base close to a portal if you can manage it. But in case some people want to build on this planet along with me, I'm going to go a little ways away. So here, this ought to do. I'm going to graze the ground here a little bit. Yep, sorry about that. Let's go right about here, land by the water. And plop. Out we go. All right, here we go. So the way to do this, first thing you need to do is you're going to put a base computer down. Okay? So we're going to do that right about here. Now, when it does the exploding view, when it boosts you out into the atmosphere, makes the big dome that appears, that's when you have to create your base, uh, your platform in the air. So that's how you're going to glitch build a sky base. Now, to build, I want to do a save point here. Um, hold on a second here. I need two metal, two more metal plates to do this. I've already got ten. I just need two more. There we go. Let's build the save beacon right there. And we're going to save right here. Okay. And then we're going to build <clears throat> our base computer right there. Now, before we get started, I'm going to make sure I'm on the right screen. Uh, let's make believe we're going to build something. Now, you'll notice in the menu up above. You've got cycle parts, build colors, etc., etc. And one of the things you do have is a toggle free placement. You want that activated. You want to be able to turn that on, free placement enabled, so it'll remember that. So next time you build something, you can build it free. And the reason for that is so you can build this sky platform so high up in the air. Now, it's a trial and error. You have to do like a 3 3000 count as you're coming back down through the atmosphere to place the sky platform and if you do it right you can fly up to it land on it put another base computer down and then once you get that base computer and you save jump in and out of your ship you go ahead and reload that particular save point if it works you've got yourself a sky base if it doesn't work you're flying through the air falling <laughs> with nothing to grab onto in which case you just go ahead and land calmly and go ahead and load up your manual save the one I just did and try it again so really neat it's hard to describe hopefully we can get this right here so here we go searching archives no sight here we go so as soon as you do that hit the build menu and select your landing pad 1 1000 2 1000 3 hopefully we placed it let me see Yep, looks like we did. You notice metal plating says zero, so there should be a landing platform up there someplace. 
Of course, we have to fly up there and find out. Straight up. It looks like there's a landing platform there. All right, where'd it go? There she is. All right. Pretty cool, huh? You see the curvature of the planet. And you're literally a borderline atmosphere. Let's see how high I can go. I only need a little bit of... No. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we might have it. Let's see what happens. Now, if we're far enough away, we should be able to place another base computer. Let's see if we can. Ah, means it didn't work. Didn't work. That's the problem. So we're going to go ahead and pick it up. And we actually, what we want to do is we're going to reload our manual and save and try again. Uh, let's see. Interesting. Well, let's find out, I guess. I do like the reload screens now with the Atlas. That's pretty cool stuff. Hydration is important. Hopefully you've enjoyed this so far. Oh, come on already. Ah, okay. So, not sure what we're going to do here because my manual save didn't take for some weird reason. All right. Uh, let's see. I think what we're going to do is this. I'm going to go ahead and. How am I going to do this? See, I'm because I'm too far away. to build anything. But the platform is still here. That's very interesting. All right, I got an idea. I'm going to try something here. Anybody else want to puke? Let's see what happens when I remove the base computer. Okay, uh, delete base. Continue. It might be gone. I'm going to take a look. I got to take a look. You know I do. So instead of three one thousand, I think I'm gonna do two one thousand. Let's just go up real quick. I want to see if it's up there. Uh, I think we would have seen it by now. So I'm gonna say it's not there anymore. Straight back down. All right. Try this again. So, store point saved, base computer, do we have our 10 back? Bet you we don't, we do not, it's okay, I've got plenty of, uh, okay, I'll wait, 
stop putting it in my ship. Okay, good. I think we're ready. Here we go. One more time. We're going to resave. Okay. And we're going to look. Nothing there. Build. Z. Go here. Here. 1 1000. Ready? 1 1000, 2 1000. Okay, I think we might have got it. Yep, looks like we did place it. Okay. we go. There she is. This one looks like it's much higher. I think we might be a little bit too high. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. My solar sails are still open. I can't even land on the platform. Let's turn around. Where'd she go? There she is. Holy mackerel, I think we're really a little bit too high. It's letting me land. Oh, I gotta try this out. Hold on. Nope, not in space. Alright. That would be really cool if this uh, works. Oh, well look at this. Well, let's see if it worked. <laughs> we may have the ultimately edge of space base here. All right, well, this is the big, uh, let me just check something here. 2010, huh? That's just now. Okay. So I guess it really doesn't make a difference. I'm going to do one more save. But I'm going to load up this restore point. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, again, if it doesn't work that base computer will likely disappear and the platform will likely disappear but if they remain then I have myself a sky base fingers crossed yep see didn't work ah. <laughs> the only problem is I'm just gonna keep falling so let's enjoy it. Whee! God, what a, what a view though, huh? This is amazing. Yeah, you can read a newspaper on the way down. Yeah, heck with it. Some of you people don't even know what a newspaper is. Whee! <laughs> Good gravy, now that's a fall. Yeah, I see uh save beacon. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, you're in another zip code. Ah, I did did hit just a little too hard. Alright, let's uh let's call the ship down, shall we? See the problem is there's a base computer up there. I want to try something. As soon as we appear, I'm going to hit the jets. Hopefully, I can get my person to land on the ship. Yeah, let's see if that'll work. <clears throat> then I can pick up the base computer. Of course, if I could do free placement at that point, I might be able to place the platform. Alright, 
Let's see if we can get this to work. There you go, huh? Not bad, eh? All right, let's see something here. Let's. Nickelodeon. Yeah, gotta be. Keep making these stinking metal. <laughs> metal plates over and over again. I wish I could create them at a much faster pace, but this is a very slow process. Uh, that, that, there we go. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Let's uh, do we go for replacement? Let me just see something here. I'm going down. Okay. So I've produced it down there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move the base computer down there. Okay, so Z and C, and we're going to take you I'm going to go to B, and I'm going to move you down here. Ah, see, the clouds are below me. That might have something to do with it. There we go. Come on. It wasn't that hard of a fall. I think we're right at the right level. Okay, let's pull the ship down. Okay. All right, do a quick save point. This might work. If we keep doing this, we keep dropping it down a little bit. We should get to a level that's, that's, uh, that'll work for us. Okay, let's do it. See if this works. Then we can make our own new sky base. I'm not a great base builder, I want to be clear about that. I think I'm a little bit better, no offense to Jason uh, Jason Plays, but I'm, I think I'm a little better than him. I am nowhere near as good as like uh, Beeblebomb or many of those others out there who produce the most incredible bases I've ever seen. Um, best thing you can do is if you go to the Anomaly, of course, and go to their teleporter, um, they usually showcase certain bases that people have built. Um, absolutely phenomenal. The uh, ability that some of these people have. There we go. All right, here we go again. So, well, you know what? I'll just build it here. I don't care. It'll be close enough to the ship to not have to worry about it. There we go. Landing pad. Oop. Okay, we're right at the edge. That's as far down as I can go. Let's come back up. Okay, so it is straight below me. There we go. And let's join it. There we go. Once again, we'll call the ship.
Still think we might be a little high. Oh, oh, that's cool. I don't know what we had pass over us, but for crying out loud. Oh, it's just too cool. Too cool. All right, in and out of the ship. I think if we keep doing this, we can keep going one step at a time, keep dropping down, like I said before. So let's see if this works. Kind of excited to get this done. And what I'll do is I'll probably, once I get to the point where I've created it, and I'll show off that, hey, look what we did it. Um, that's where I'll end the video, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to, you know, build it out. And then I'll showcase it later on to see to show you what I did with the, uh, with the base. Uh, so I might decorate it a little bit. It won't be as fancy inside as my... Uh, freighter, but it ought to be pretty good. Oop. Yep, not quite there yet. Caught me off guard there. Uh, where's the base computer? Um, well, that's weird. Base computer supposedly is right there. But I do not see it, Sam I am. Hmm. We may have a problem. Let's see what happens. Okay. Build ourselves a landing platform. Free placement. Supposedly, my base computer is literally right there but it's glitched out and I do not see it. Okay, I'm going straight down. We should be able to get to the edge. And I'll place. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to land on the platform. I would like to be able to grab the base computer. Let me see. Did I place it too close to my ship? Is that what happened? Alright, let's jump down. Let's hope for the best. We may end up having to do this all over again. Does not see it. <sighs> okay. Now well, this may be the last shot I have at it. But I might be able to still keep going down. We'll see what happens. So where am I at right now? I'm still above the clouds. Give it a shot. Be ready with my jetpack. And if you're wondering about the music, it's just RFC in the background, that's all. I don't want to do any uh, improper music that could get me in trouble. Come on. Load up. Here we go. Nope, didn't work. Now, I'm not sure how much further I can go. Uh, supposedly it's right there, and it's literally glitched out. So I may have a really glitched incident here that's not going to work, and I may end up having to uh, abandon the site and go elsewhere. So... Okay. How much further should I go with this? I see the clouds are down there as they're passing below us. I'm trying to decide if I should go one more level or not. I say we keep going. Maybe we'll get fortunate. I 
Though, of course, if there's any glitch builders that are watching this, they're probably shaking their head going, Oh, no bueno. Don't do it, my friend. Oh. I need an ion battery. Really? Unbelievable. Oh, there they are. Let's get an extra one. Okay. Alright, here we go. And I ran into my ship. Hmm. 45 units away, huh? Interesting. I'll have to remember that. See if that has anything to do with it. How many of those do I have? 25 more? Yeah, I got plenty of my freighter, too. Okay. Give it another shot. This is kind of a boring sequence, I'm sorry. If it doesn't work this time, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then we'll just keep going down and we'll see how close we had to get to the other base in order to make this work. Let's see how we go with it. I honestly don't know how long I'm into the video. I've got something blocking my, uh, my OBS, unfortunately. But looking at the time, I'm going to say about a half hour. Yep, didn't work. Okay. How much further should we go? Hmm. It's hard to say. Oh, it's getting to night time. Wait a second. Huh. That's cool. Uh, I'd love to be able to explore space one day, you know? Little dream. Anyway. This was pretty cool. I'm tempted on going down a little further. What do you think? Let's go one more shot. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for now, and I'll come back here in just a moment. So we're back, and this time I came back from the save and I found my platform is here. So we are at the right level, finally. Um, again, you literally look out and you can see the tops of the clouds. They're even with you. So clouds will still pass underneath you, but uh, yeah, you get quite a view up here, don't you? Quite the view. I can't really summon too much right now, but yeah, not not bad, not bad at all. So one thing you can do, you can you can determine how high up you can build by literally just building sections of wall. Uh, I can build what 488 of these, so I'm going to build one right here, and I'm going to get rid of the. I'm going to go to the toggle placement. Four, uh, five. Let's go up. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, I mean, that kind of height on this is plenty high enough. I'm never going to go much higher than that at all. So we can build a nice platform up here. It's going to be 10 high, so I'm going to jump back in and out real fast. We're going to go back into a save, and we know we have 10 of those, so let's restore one more time. And we'll come back and we'll see how many of those are still there. And that'll tell us how high we can build. 
and it looks like we have ourselves the start of a new sky base. Now the main problem here is that unfortunately my base computer is out of sight. It's in a different dimension? I don't know. It just kind of glitched out and has vanished. It's still there, but technically... Yeah, see? So the platform remains, and it looks like we have all ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten. So we can go pretty high at this point uh, in creating my base. But again, we don't have access to the base computer anymore, so we will just have to create from here. Now, what should I build here? What would be the main base that I need to build here? Um, I would love to just use all the timber. I love the timber. There's something about the timber that I really like. I've been collecting more in the stone structures lately, uh, as far as that's concerned. But when I'm up in the sky like this, I really like the domes. I like what they I like what they add to the uh, as far as the element to the game is concerned. So. I think what I'm going to do is start with a just a regular ordinary square room right at the edge of the platform here um, just as a starting point now which way does my ship face it's facing this way I want it right here okay I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these guys Really? Alright, and I'm going to get myself a door. I think it's down here someplace. I prefer the hollow doors. I got plenty of resources to build it. And everything I'm going to build here is going to be off of this main room. So I'm going to just build out the four rooms to begin with. I'll probably put some glass windows in and stuff like that. Uh, we obviously need power, uh, just on grins and giggles. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we're going to have to go old-fashioned here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a series of solar panels here. What I think I'll do, I kind of want to hide them a little bit. So I, what I might do here, let's go to the edge of the platform here and... Let's do, yeah, let's do some timber floor panels. We're going to do a free placement. And we'll put them right down here underneath where they can't be seen. Actually, I might just go underneath the platform here. And let's go back to toggling it. Yeah, too close to the starship. I don't know why. I don't know why that's such a big deal. And just on the event that we need some more room, we will. Uh, we have everything to build these. I need metal plates. Again. So I'm going to build ten of these solar arrays. do free placement there we go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten well they only take one plate each okay I might come back and build some more let's build a few batteries uh, let's rotate that one <laughs> Two and three. 
Now, for the time being, I'm going to throw a biofuel reactor in here because I want to get these things charged up a little bit. I'm not sure if I can even get into that biofuel reactor and so I can get down there without falling. Hey, I did it. Oh, I can choose it. Let's put some oxygen in there. Let's get this thing get these things charging up. Oh, what do you know? The sun's coming out. So these things ought to be charging fast. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Let's get one more wire going. Alright, we got power to our structure. There we go. All right. Now, we do need some glass. I'm not sure if we even have any. Let me see. If I go to try to build the glass panel? No, I have no glass. Exosuit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Losing my thoughts here. Uh, what do we got? I need a little bit of that. I don't think I need that many. Let's go with uh, 20 of these. I only need four to begin with. All right. There's two. Three and four. You gotta have some nice bay windows to look out on. So that way when you're inside these places, you get a nice view. All right. So we can build the base out from here. I can build up a little bit if I want uh, and build out and I can get a lot done here. But one of the main things I'm going to do is I'm going to put the teleporter here because if I can get that built then I can not, I won't have to worry about the, uh, the fact that I'm nowhere near <laughs> the base computer anymore. So. And we're going to put it right dead center. I'm just going to drop it right in there. There we go. So now I can come back and forth with this place. All right. And then I'll build out from here. I'm going to build some nice uh, platforms coming out. And we'll get a nice base going out over here. And we'll decorate it up. Uh, so, you know, we're at sunrise right now. What a view, right? Good grief. I mean, really... Can you imagine living in a place like this? Unbelievable. Tell you, man, you want to find some nice paradise planets, you go into the Eisenton Galaxy. I'm in a very unique um, solar system in the Eisenton because there's this nice, beautiful paradise planet, and there are two other paradise planets in the system. Two others. So. Yeah, that's the way to go. 
Yeah, that's a pretty good view, man. I mean, look at the look at the lighting here. The lighting looks good. Looks really good. Looks pretty sharp. Anyway, liking the way this looks. So we'll come back another time. Thanks for viewing this. Uh, hopefully, I kept it interesting enough, but and maybe you learned a little something from it as well. But hopefully you enjoy this later on, and uh, if, you, if you like the video, please, by all means, hit the like button. That helps us uh, YouTubers out a little bit more. And uh, as I always like to say at the end of my videos, uh, uh, always be kind when you can. And there's always time to be kind. But never criticize kindness. And also, be truthful in all things, especially to yourself. Alright guys, take care. Thank you very much for watching.